Under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Rural Electrification Scheme, Centre has put on its utmost efforts in reaching out every nook and corner of the country with power supply. One of Manipur's remotest village in Kangpokpi district, Laysan village, was the last village which was not hooked to power on Saturday 28 April registered its name in the history of lightening up India in golden letters by becoming the last village in the country to get electrified among the villages recorded under censors of the country. This new development has been termed as powerful India in reality. One of the remotest villages of Manipur, Laysang village has been finally lit up for the first time since 1947 and became the last village of the country linked to the national power grid under the census village of the country. Situated at a distance of over 80 kilometers from the state capital Imphal, Laysang village with a total of 12 households in Kangpokpi district got electrified under the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana program or Rural Electrification Scheme. The scheme was launched in 2015 by Prime Minister Modi to supply power to 18,452 census villages that never saw power since the independence. According to the latest data released by the centre, out of the 18,452 villages without access to power since 1947, 17,181 villages have been electrified and the others are either uninhabited or notified as grazing reserves. This significant feat was announced by PM Modi on social media and received commendable appreciation from the fellow citizens. It is quite a good uh, initiative taken up by the government of India to electrify, uh, uh, electrify those places which are located deep inside the uh, country. So I think uh, uh, I hope uh, our uh, uh, government of India will take up such initiative in future also. As electricity has now been reaching to all census villages, Centre's mission to providing power supply to all households across the country is a step closer to reality. Adding wings to the serene nature-filled Leishang village, this latest electrification development will enhance the socio-economic condition of the villages and also boost the potential in ecotourism sector of the state. However, due to the inhospitable terrain and lack of proper motorable road or connectivity to the villages, the transportation of the material and pieces of equipment were either carried by trucks, bulls or even by men and completed the uphill task before meeting the deadline. Paka. Light day. <laughs> With the commitment and efforts put on by the centre, villages under the census villages are now connected to the power energy either through national power grid or off-grid solutions. The last village to be provided off-grid electricity access was Pakol in Chura Chandpur district of Manipur. We are first uh, taken, uh, we have taken up uh, at first the unelectrified census villages. Mm. Uh, not the habitations, but from now onwards, there uh, there is a, another program, so by go, and it is 100% electrification will be done. Uh, that is universal electrification will be done here. So uh, just we have we finished our unelectrified village, census villages. According to the experts, Centre's Sobhagya scheme holds the key to the universal electricity access by providing connection to more than 40 million families in rural and urban areas by March 2019. Providing electrification to all will improve the per capita power consumption of the country and the benefits received by the citizens will enhance the socio-economic condition of the nation. It is also worth to mention that as per the Bloomsburg report, a village is considered electrified if at least 10% of its households as well as public places are connected.